It was only natural to expect a Frozen 3 movie after the success of Frozen 2, which was the highest grossing animation ever after its release in November 2019. But the third installment still hasn't been confirmed by Disney. Though there is no reason to be disappointed. The six year gap between the first and second film could be a signal that patience is key and that we shouldn't lose hope already. Don't let them in, don't let them see. The last time we received any real information was when the Into the Unknown premiered on Disney Plus in June 2020. Quote, We have not had that discussion, said Mark Smith, director of the story of Frozen 2, about a third movie. Chris Buck, who co-directed both Frozen films with Jennifer Lee, added, quote, I always say, ask us a little bit later. For us, I would say, ask us in six months, he said to Radiotimes.com. Yet, we still don't have any information about a potential threequel, but that doesn't exclude the option of them working on something behind the scenes. While talking to Digital Spy before the sequel was released, Lee said that the second movie felt like it might be the end for Anna and Elsa. Although, she also mentioned that they commented the same thing after the first film ended. Quote, For us, this feels like what we set out to accomplish. It feels like the end, but the first one felt like the end when we did it. We don't know. The ending of the sequel was certainly a happy one. Like the ending of Frozen, of the first Frozen film, there were no plot holes, so Disney can easily think of a new adventure for Elsa and Anna to keep their story alive while building up the world they created. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. Frozen 2 was officially announced in March 2015, about 16 months after Frozen was released. As of now, we have to wait and see if Disney will greenlight the threequel since Frozen 2 appeared to end the story. If Lee has an inspiration to write a new chapter, or Disney hires a new writer, many years will certainly be needed for the development of the film. As we mentioned earlier, six years were needed for the release of the sequel, and it is most likely that we could see Frozen 3 being released sometime around 2025. So, fans might have to wait a little while for the return of Anna and Elsa. The superb making of Frozen 2 documentary series Into the Unknown 2 shows every detail of the way the animation is created, so it's no surprise that it could take so many years. As we're writing, it feels like a long time for Frozen 3, but we're hoping that Disney will reveal more details shortly, so we can have an idea of when we can expect the threequel. Frozen wouldn't be the same without Kristen Bell as Anna, Idina Menzel as Elsa, Josh Gad as Olaf, and Jonathan Groff as Kristoff, so we're pretty sure they will be returning to their roles if the threequel happens. They will most likely be up for the comeback, and since the sequel premiered, Gad has already returned to the role of Olaf for the digital series At Home with Olaf. As for the others, Sterling K. Brown as Matthias could be back, as well as Jason Ritter as the Northoldra member Ryder, Rachel Matthews as Ryder's sister Honey Marin, and Kieran Hines as Rock Troll's leader Pabby. After the flashbacks in Frozen 2, we had a chance to see more of Evan Rachel Wood and Alfred Molina as Anna and Elsa's parents Iduna and Agnar. Since the threequel hasn't been confirmed by Disney, all these are speculations for the Frozen 3 cast members. Kristen Bell's passion for the Frozen films could be considered the most important element for the making of Frozen 3 to happen. Bell, who voiced Anna in the previous two Frozen films, was a guest on The Kelly Clarkson Show soon after Frozen 2 was released, and she expressed her love for the franchise and desire to be part of more installments. She also joked that no matter what Disney decides, she will be making Frozen 3, 4, and 5, saying, quote, I'll be showing up, and I'll be in the booth regardless, so let's do it. Jennifer Lee has previously said how instrumental Belle has been in the development of Honest Story and the music for Frozen 2. It has been more difficult to make the sequel than the first film, and Lee certainly feels that the threequel would be even harder to create which makes her hesitant to start the new project. Lee also stated that if a good idea comes along for the threequel, she would be open to developing it, while Kristen Bell's excitement for continuing the franchise may just be what Lee needs. As reported by Lee, 
developing a new story that will be good enough to make another film might well be the greatest problem. And if Bell happens to have a compelling one, the studio on board would most likely consider it. In Frozen 2, Anna and Elsa go to the enchanted forest outside of Arendelle to learn why a mysterious voice has been calling to Elsa, and to stop the enchanted spirits from ruining Arendelle. It appears that back in the past, there was a battle between Arendelle soldiers and the people of North Uldra, who are leaving in the first, which leaves the forest closed to the rest of the world. To cut it short, they find out that their parents were going to Atahalan to learn about the source of Elsa's power when they sank. Anna and Elsa discovered their ship in the Enchanted Forest and learned that their mother was North Aldrin. Moreover, their grandfather was to blame for the conflict and made a wall in the forest with the intent to weaken the North Aldrin people. To fix things up from the past, Anna realizes that she has to get rid of the dam to free the forest, and she manages to do it at the same time when Elsa was frozen in Atahalan, looking for the voice, which ends up being a memory of her mother. Elsa becomes the fifth spirit, the bridge connecting the magical world and the human world. But as all of us know, a bridge has two sides, meaning Anna is the other one. Elsa remains in the forest, and Anna becomes Queen of Arendelle, making sure that the two kingdoms live happily ever after. It seems like a natural ending to the arc set up in Frozen, with a promise of the producer that the two films will tell one complete story. Elsa now has her magical side, and Anna has found her place in the world. If Disney eventually announces the third film, they would have to come up with a conflict that will threaten Anna and Elsa once again, which might be a risk of it becoming an unneeded sequel. It is why Gad thinks that the third movie should happen only if, quote, there was a reason to exist. Quote, That's way above my pay grade, he said to PopCulture.com. If there's always a story worth telling, I'm sure that Jennifer Lee and the incredible team over at Disney Animation will tell that story one day. On a related note, we wanted to know, what do you think the Frozen 3 plot will be about? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.